G'day everyone, Lucas here, and I'm here to tell you about my experience with the Xbox One X after my first few days of using it. Now the first day that it came out, Tuesday the 7th of November 2017, it was I, I didn't have a lot of time, so I, I sort of just set it up, got some games installing, and I played it on the, the following night, and, and it, it was working really good, no dramas. And then uh, on the following night, I had uh, Ramutha come around, who is one of our admins, lovely lady. And uh, also uh, her hubby, Greggio, came over as well, and we uh, tried to play some games. Now, Ramutha, Rem, she is a big fan of the Assassin's Creed series, probably the biggest fan I know, and uh, she loves uh, Origins. She's having a really good time playing that. She came over specifically, she wanted to check out Assassin's Creed Origins with the Xbox One X enhancement. So she was coming over to play that. I popped in the disc, went to play the game, and it just just stalled on, on the main screen. It, uh, it crashed, and then the system told me that it was taking too long to load, and it booted me back to the, uh, the main home screen there. I thought, okay, look, all right, that happens. So booted it up again, did the exact same thing. Thought, all right, we'll we'll try some remedies here. We closed down the app, so actually killed the app, the game app, and then loaded it again. Hanged again on the uh, the loading screen, and uh, and crashed again. So I thought, all right, we'll try. Uh, we'll go a little bit further this time. We'll restart the console. We did that. Hit restart. Loaded it back up. Loaded the game. Hanged again on the load screen. So there was definitely a problem going on here. And uh, Greggio uh, suggested a solution where you power down the system completely, disconnect the power power cable, wait a couple of seconds, press the power button with the power cable disconnected to discharge all of the, the residual power that is inside the console. After a few seconds then, pop the cable back in, turn it on, load it up, and hopefully that generally resets absolutely everything, clears the cache, all that sort of stuff. Tried to load up Assassin's Creed Origins again, and it hanged on the load screen, said it was taking too long to load, and crashed back to the home screen. So I'm thinking, what What can we do to fix this? This is something that uh, I've not experienced before. So I thought, all right, well, maybe there's something wrong with the installation of the game. So I deleted the entire game, which is a, a lengthy process to install. So deleted it. Went to reinstall it, and it was installing incredibly slow. The di copying across from the disk across to the console was going really slow. Like, it was on 0% for 20 minutes, half an hour. We went away, played another game, came back, and there was not really any progress. The update was downloading it the slowest ADSL2 speeds you could ever consider, and my internet connection here is uh, 100 megabits download with the NBN and there was no issues with it testing it on other devices. So it wasn't installing properly and after it not working, after it did install the first time leaving it overnight, I couldn't even get it to install now. So what are we going to do? We followed a couple of procedures, a couple of things that we googled and watched on YouTube to try and fix it and I couldn't get any of it to bloody work. The thing wouldn't install and then the final thing that we thought of and this is an old remedy that I know of from back when the Xbox One X was brand new. Sorry, when the Xbox One was brand new. And uh, I've never used it myself because I've never run into the problem with my original Xbox One or my One S. I've, I've never had this issue. And what the thing was is you delete it all, remove the disk, start from fresh, clear the game save off the, the console, so delete absolutely everything. Your saves are obviously still on the cloud so that it doesn't you don't lose all your progress. Put the disk back in, it comes up and says the game needs an update. You press instead of update now, you press update later. So that way it just copies the uh, the game, installs the game from the disk without doing the update. It was and then it started installing no problem, it was going quite fast. It was reasonable. So we let the game fully install, which probably took in the vicinity of 20 minutes to half an hour or so, which was still, I guess, slow, but a lot faster than it was, and uh, and that worked. Then I tried to play the game, and it prompted me for the update. It said it needed to do an update, which was about 1.8 gigabytes. Selected it for the update. The update was going still incredibly slow, but I can put that down to... 
I guess, Ubisoft servers or just that update in particular that was downloading slow because other digital content was downloading at a reasonable speed. But anyway, the 1.8 gigabyte uh, update finally worked. While it was doing all this, we just left the console and didn't use it. So the update was finally installed. We crossed our fingers. We loaded the game and it started. Happy days. My biggest beef was that it gave me a really, really bad experience to start off with for the Xbox One X. Now look, this may be an Xbox One in general problem. It may not necessarily be an Xbox One X issue. I don't know. I can't really uh, point the finger at that just yet because I haven't tried it installing it uh, Origins on a standard Xbox just yet. I will try it at a later date. Maybe I'll mention how that went uh, on the next podcast that we do. But uh, that was a bad experience. And that that although that's a workaround to install it without doing the update at the same time to get the disk to install at a reasonable speed, that's not a fix though. That that needs to be sorted out. And and it's not something that I've never heard of before. So it has happened on these consoles before. Don't know about the X, but generally with the Xbox One. And it hasn't happened to me with either of my previous consoles, the Fat One or the S. So that, oh no, that makes me think that maybe the, the, the X is prone to it, or it could be just a coincidental thing. But it really did put a sour taste in my mouth. And it was a really horrible and frustrating experience, not knowing why. To add to that, while we were trying to load Origins the first time and it kept crashing... All of my other games wouldn't load either. So uh, I tried to play... uh, What was the other games that we tried to boot up? I tried to boot up uh, The Evil Within 2. That wouldn't load up. I could no longer get uh, Wolfenstein to load up. Wolfenstein 2. I couldn't get... I basically couldn't get anything to load up. The, The whole system was hanging while it was struggling to install the update and the disc for Assassin's Creed Origins. So the the console basically became unusable while it was trying to install the disc and the update at the same time. Something that shouldn't be an issue for the current generation to do. Why can't the disc copy to the hard drive at the same time that the update downloads and be done at a reasonable pace? Now I understand it could make that process a little slower, but it wasn't slow. It was practically not working. Oh, I should add as well, I'm, I'm obviously trying to remember this off the top of my head, that it would often stop the installation process uh, while it was copying to the disk and downloading the update to the point where it just it stopped. You had to hit re- resume or install again or something like that. It was absolutely terrible. It pissed me off. And I was thinking that my console might be broken or faulty and I'd have to take it back. And that's another frustrating thing that nobody wants to do when they've got a new toy that they want to play with. That being said, I did sort it out with that workaround and hopefully that becomes a fix one day and not just a workaround. But once we got it working, I'm very, very happy to say that the Xbox One X does deliver on performance. I'm usually the kind of guy that would always opt for 60 frames a second, and I don't care about the resolution. Put it at 1080p if you must. I don't care. I want smooth gameplay. Now, I did play uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I played uh, Wolfenstein 2. I played uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Assassin's Creed Origins at uh, 4K and 30 frames a second. It's beautiful. It plays really nice. It's very stable. Ramutha uh, was telling me that uh, it plays a lot better. It's smoother on the Xbox One X as well as uh, being a higher resolution, which is a, a positive there. But it's beautiful. Rise of the Tomb Raider looks great. It's nice and crisp. And uh, it may not be 60 frames in the 4K and the 4K mode, but it's it's beautiful. All right. Well, that's my experience. I, I I am really happy with the Xbox One X. Take away that experience that I had last night. It's a fantastic console. I'm very happy to own one. Uh, and um, yeah, hopefully these sort of things don't happen.
too regularly. But I've taken up too much of your time. I appreciate everybody that even watches this video, let alone gets to this point in the video right towards the end. So I'm very appreciative to you. You're the one watching right now. Thank you very much. As uh, an Aussie Gamers Express uh, representative, I want to say we love you. We appreciate you. Uh, thank you for everything. If you don't mind, while you're there, click that like button and subscribe to us if you uh, if you if you were that way inclined as well. Uh, I and we would really really appreciate that. Thank you very much for your time. And until my next video, I am Lucas, and I will see ya.